The piranha we all fear feed in packs, and they are so common in the Amazon, you can catch them almost anywhere. Normally, I use high-tech gear and stealthy tactics to lure a monster onto my line. But the piranha's method of feeding is so bold that I'm changing my approach. I've dispensed with my normal rod, and I'm just using a bit of bamboo with a short length of line on the end. Tried and tested means of catching piranha. Just a hook on the end with a piece of wire so they don't chomp through the line. Lump of meat and Unlike other techniques where you're being quiet and stealthy, piranhas are actually attracted by noise and disturbance on the surface. Oh, there we go. Red belly piranha. In just a couple of minutes, I've caught a small piranha. But do not be deceived, it still has knife-like teeth that can easily remove a lump of flesh in a single bite. Multiply that by the hundred or so mouths in a hungry school of piranhas, and it's a death of a thousand individual cuts. A protruding jawbone with large chomping muscles means that when the mouth is closed, the triangular teeth from both jaws lock together like a bear trap. They are perfectly adapted to slice off pieces of meat, fins or scales, literally taking apart their prey piece by piece. They predominantly hunt fish, but they will eat the meat of almost any animal that crosses their path. And in this river, with almost every cast, I'm catching a piranha. This river is just absolutely full of piranhas. They're just all over the place. Doesn't mean to say, though, that I can't do this. Surely swimming in a piranha-infested river is suicide. These piranhas were tearing into a piece of dead meat just a couple of minutes ago. Of the piranha. It's an arms war down there. Everything's got teeth. Everything is eating everything else.